Hey, it's Lucky. In this video I wanted to show you around these three tech demos I did in Godot 4.0. Uh, the first one is a first person animation demo, second one is split screen multiplayer, and the third one is a 3D RPG uh, controller with some nifty shaders for hiding foregrounds and obscuring backgrounds. Alright, the first one. This first project started out as two tutorials I did. A tutorial on a first person controller and setting up the global illumination. Uh, I'll link it as the first link below this video. The second tutorial is an animation tutorial for the first person hands and the weapon animations. After that I just spent some time fine tuning the animations, adding a couple more weapons, uh, some camera shake and recoil. And I think the animations are looking quite nice now. So I just wanted to throw that in here quickly. If you want to learn how to do this, all the tutorials are down below. The second project is this split screen demo. Uh, me and my friends actually play a lot of local multiplayer. It's no longer very popular, so we play a lot of old school games, emulation, and I thought I'd try something out uh, just for the boys. The gameplay you're seeing right now is me and a friend just messing around in this demo. Uh, I got two first person controllers set up, the split screen and this simple feature where you can add a block below your feed. And we actually already spent 15 minutes just looking for the world border building little towers. It shows that with a couple of friends almost anything can be fun. I'll definitely be keeping this feature in mind for future projects and I hope you do too. Uh, local multiplayer can be so much fun and can really set a game apart. Building local multiplayer like this is actually super easy and if you want to see a quick tutorial on this let me know below and I'll make it. The last demo I wanted to show you is this 3D RPG controller. Uh, it's actually the one I spent the most time on, although it doesn't look like it. Yeah, I was just wondering one day how these 3D RPGs hide foregrounds and obscure backgrounds to keep it visually clear. And I started out with this demo. It's an isometric version. And in this one I'm actually casting a ray from the player to the wall. And then calculating the distance from this uh, ray hit point. Uh, creating custom materials for all the walls and setting the opacity to hide them which is super ineffective and it was a terrible way to do it but uh, yeah got me thinking how to optimize this and actually wrote my first custom shader for the second demo in the second demo and just moving everything that's on the foreground to a different layer and then applying this uh, vignette shader but just inverted and based on opacity so this makes it that the foreground layer is always a little transparent and around the player it's completely transparent. Uh, it gives a very clean look and it's super optimized, so that's nice. Uh, the next thing I did was hide all the other rooms that are currently not in focus. As you can see they're way darker and they're actually grayscaled, which is my second shader I wrote. Last thing I added to this demo was this interaction menu. Uh, just takes a world point, converts it to a screen point, and adds these UI elements. Just like the last demo, if you want to see how it's done specifically, uh, let me know. I can create a tutorial. So yeah, these were my first three projects in Godot 4. Uh, I've been really loving Godot 4. Visually, it's so much more beautiful than 3.5. And lastly, I wanted to give a quick update on the channel and the Hello There Little One devlogs I've been making. Uh, I've been trying really hard to find a fun gameplay loop for Hello There Little One, but I can't seem to find anything yet. Last night I got a great suggestion though, and I'm going to be porting the project to Godot 4 and trying this out and some other things, and hopefully there will be a devlog soon. So thanks so much for all the support, it's been a wild ride. Uh, I hope to be back soon with more devlogs on Hey There Little One and other content. Right now I'm actually a bit sick, I don't know if you can hear it on my voice, but yeah. Well, anyway, thanks so much, and see you next time.